What's up guys, Buledo Yan Motor After the success the relative success of the test drive of the Kimco Exciting 400 So this is today the downtown 200cc So it's a 200cc scooter automatic this uh, particular bike doesn't have the windshield because they uh, they are servicing it and they want uh, the owner want to make it pent. The future owner wants to have a painted, tented uh, windshield, so that's the reason why the windshield is not on uh, installed on that bike. Otherwise, what we can what the first first impression very very smooth. No big vibration whatsoever in the transmission. Really like the the dashboard compared to the Kimco Exciting 400 V. I like the fact that you have the full digital indicator in the middle with the the temperature, the fuel gauge, the total auto. You have the trip, you have the time, which is not not the time right now. Then I like the fact that you can adjust both of the lever for the brake. Otherwise, it's uh... oh, there is no hazard. That's the only thing that is different with uh, with the 400. Same thing. We have the noise on the turning sign. Otherwise, the classic eh? kill switch, light on, the starter, turn sign, klaxon, low beam, high beam, and the pass just in here seating position is a bit more straight as you can see my feet are cannot really extend in here I'm too tall for that the little hook And that's for the charger and a little glove box. Very, very smooth. I mean, from the transmission to the suspension, the bike is very, very smooth. Power. It's very progressive. Mm. Like the suspension. The handling is very reassuring. You can feel that all the weight of the bike is really close to the ground. So in terms of gravity, which is really perfect. You feel secure. The feeling on the brake is very reassuring as well. You feel that uh, the braking system is a, a good one. the trap for the gas I like the quality of the levers
good mirror also they you can see your shoulder in it but still uh, you just see a part of your shoulder so your shoulder doesn't block the way You have enough power to get rid of the traffic. And it's very progressive. to make a U-turn No, you feel really secure you have the security when you put the, the standard on it cut it shut down the engine front tire 120 by 80 seems to have the ABS system on we're gonna test that A good looking bike the cargo under the seat you have a little light, you apparently can put two helm inside like that it will be easy also to put the bracket in a box Let's check one thing. I don't know if there is ABS on it because I don't see anything that tell me so. No, there is no ABS.
confortable. apa yang ini oke oh, okay. ya, ya kita up ya oh iya yeah, karena saya pikir di sini oke okay, tapi di sini nggak bisa ya. jadi aslinya kita up ini kan belum kita up ya jadi kayak itu udah modelnya oke okay, coba lihat ya. Oh iya, beda Terus berarti kalau pakai yang uh, jok yang ini Kaki bisa naruh di atas Motor anda? Iya Soalnya tinggi, posisi yang awal kan terlalu pendek Banyak modifikasi di sini <laughs> Apa itu? Ini untuk strobo Oh strobo <laughs> Keren Good job Good job Impressive And I like apa? Saya, saya suka yang ini, yang tempat buat naruh HP. Yeah. Bikin sendiri. Nah, beli. Beli? Yeah. Taiwan. Taiwan. Kalau ada macet nonton movie aja, nonton YouTube. Yeah. Keren banget. Keren banget motornya Oh ya Nanti launching info baru Sini ya Ya yeah, uh, apa Kasih tahu ke saya pasti. Kasih tahu Terus pasti saya datang Terima kasih banyak Buspa So What do I think about the Kimco downtown Duaratus? 200cc um, Very very nice bike I was really surprised about the stability of the machine The weight was very very smooth, very progressive in acceleration Less powerful than the Zafirano, a bit less but still way enough for our road in Indonesia So if I had to compare uh, the Kimco Downtown 200, the SYM uh, GTS 250 and the Benelli Zafirano, I will say that the more, polyvalent, the more polyvalent one will be the SYM. I mean the SYM 250, I really liked it when I, when I tried it. I will put definitely the Kimco in the second position. Um, it's a very very nice bike. And the Benelli, the, I will put in third, but the Benelli is the cheapest one as well. So in terms of budget, the Benelli is still very competitive because the engine is uh, is very nice. Uh, it's just uh, the model is uh, is a bit old. It's starting to be a bit old. And Kimco, they told me that they have uh, two new models that will will be launched this year. 
so for sure they will contact me to to make the video on the new uh, on the new model when they will be launched so let's follow up that anyway in terms of uh, budget uh, the cheapest one is the Benelisa Ferrano it's 47 in Bali the Kimco 200 downtown is at 60, 60 million 500 and uh, the SYM uh, GTS uh, 250 new one is at 71 so that makes the SYM uh, the, the most expensive one then the Kimco then the Benelli but I will say that for my size I'm 180 when I tried the SYM 250 it was a perfect perfect size perfect fit for me the Kimco I could feel that uh, they uh, as I told me and as you saw in the video you can change the, the seat to make a seat that will put your body a bit uh, a bit back and same thing on the Zafferano because when you when I was meeting the the Benelli owner in uh, Jakarta you could see that um, some of the guys were changing the, the seat to have a better better seated position on it if you are tall so that will be the, the difference so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed that video like it if you like it dislike it if you dislike it subscribe that will help and share it if you want to as well and see you soon for other adventure in Bali Ta da